Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's car boot haul. I am recording this on Sunday the 24th of October. This is the haul from this morning. Haven't done a live stream this morning due to other constraints, time constraints, but I have got just enough time to very quickly record this and then I can edit it later on. Didn't buy a lot. It may look like quite a lot, but this is a very large thing taking up all the space. I bought a wadge of curtain fabric. This is Blendworth Fabrics. I cannot find the, the design name for this, you know, the, the what it's called. So if anybody out there happens to have Blendworth Curtain Fabrics as their curtain and happens to know the name of the design, I'd love to know because I've been looking on their website. It's obviously a discontinued one because it's not on there. Can't find it on John Lewis, but I got quite a big wadge there. There's a six metre piece and some other pieces and I paid three pounds. If I can find the style name, then I may sell the large piece on. If not, I'll keep it and use it for something, but I don't know what yet. Maybe cushions, who knows? From the same lady, I also got this little pile. So there's a small piece of Kath Kidston. I don't think it is actually, I think it's a tablecloth. She said piece of fabric. I think it's tablecloth because it's hemmed all around the edges. It is, it's a Kath Kidston tablecloth. I don't know what the print is. I don't think she's made it into a tablecloth because it looks like it's been professionally hemmed, but then she might just be an extremely good seamstress. Who knows? I cannot find a cath label on it either, so maybe not. Maybe not a ready-made tablecloth. Don't know. Don't know the answer, but I paid a pound for that, and there will certainly be some resale value in it. Same lady. 50p for a Kath Kidston waist apron. I've sold a, you know, a, a full-length apron before for good money. I don't know if there's any money in the just a bartender style apron but it was 50p and a pound for brand new with tags M&S price has been removed but the tag is still on Christmas t-shirt smells a bit cupboardy needs a bit of airing before it can be sold on but it's definitely the season for selling Christmas t-shirts all of my Christmas jumpers and things have started to go over the last couple of weeks I don't normally rummage through clothes rails that the car boots sell very much unless it's very cheap and this was very cheap this rail lady had marked everything at 30 pence on this rail so i thought rude not to have a flick through if it's 30 pence so i picked for five items i have a ted baker sleeveless vest top t-shirt thingy 30p this one is two at sainsbury's and i got it because it's linen blend linen blend white shirt This one is also Ted Baker, flimsy, chiffony, summer top. These are hopefully for me for next summer. They're a size 20 and I'm nowhere near a 20 yet, but I'm hoping that I might be by, by next summer. They are Evans and I've had these very trousers before. They're grey mile crop trousers linen blend I've had these very ones before in a larger size so when I saw them I thought I wonder if I can get into those by next summer so they'll be put away for next year and then the last one of my five items so I paid £1.50 30p each is new look maternity summer dress I said probably wouldn't have bothered at any other price but for 30p rude not to three for two pounds on these little toilet trees I've got a gel polish again for myself nice bright color for my toes I don't do my fingers only my toes and then a Jules body lotion and a Jules bath salt to go into a bundle of Jules things that I intend to list the rest of it is over there somewhere now this is my stuff from Steve the car boot guy and it's including this so I'm going to come back to it because I can't get to him just yet I got for one pound I got a Villaway and Bosch new wave mug I don't know what that is. I haven't had just a mug for the longest time so I don't know what to expect on that but more than a pound possibly ten maybe more but almost definitely at least ten I paid a pound for this little London leather goods purse I've had London leather goods stuff before and sold it it has very nice lining 
all of their stuff has lovely stripy lining and this is a card purse so lots of slots for all of your um loyalty cards and all of that stuff it looks like it's unused because it's still got the original london leather goods card in there and it smells very nice it smells it smells full enough like it's leather who saw that coming so that cost me a pound I paid five pounds to a lady for these two paperweights and this little bit of brownie uniform so there's brownie trousers and a jacket and then these two paperweights 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 which are Allen Bay Isle of Wight they're not quite the same size I thought they were at the time but one's one's bigger and one's smaller That one's really that one looks like the sea, doesn't it really? And this one kind of looks like a mountain. Look at it completed and sold, they're not gonna make me a fortune. The most that an Isle of Wight Aaron Bay one has gone for was um $24.99, but usually get quite a lot less. But Josh has inspired me, see, with all his talk of paperweights, I can't get on get, get on the paperweight train. So these two bits of brownie uniform will go nicely with the other two bits that I've got here as well, which I'll show you in a second. 50p for this, this is for us, this is for our fridge. Just a little fridge tray. Needs a wash, it's dusty, but it was 50p. 50p for this um, bright side receipts tin. I've got one of these of my own and I sold one of these not long ago as well. I think actually I sold it to a viewer I don't think it got as far as eBay I think one of you guys bought it so possibly one of you also messaged and said had I got it after I'd sold it so if you if it was you and you didn't get one I've got another one it says receipts for money I used to have tin of denial on the top and then on the back it says I can feel a shop coming on <laughs> from the same lady again 50p these are desk dividers desk drawer sorters they lock together they are I can, I can, there's, there are they are branded but i cannot remember the brand and the branding is not printed on them they lock together at the sides like this and, and then you can reorganize them to suit yourself within the drawer i said she didn't drop one on the floor i have a couple of them in, a couple of those in my drawers already and when i saw them i thought i'd get some more um they fit nicely in the ikea alex drawers which is what i have here you can't see but it's what i have here by my desk so yeah that'll be useful I paid 50p for a Brabantia, Brabantia garlic press. This is for me. I do not have a garlic press. I thought I did. And I discovered the other day when I was doing a recipe that I don't. So 50p for that. Now let's show you this. This is, in, like I said, this is my bundle from Steve. So this is a Monchichi monkey. And I have never seen a large one before. I've seen the little ones and sold ones about this big several times, but I didn't even know they did a large one. Looking at completed and sold, he is a very variable thing. He goes anywhere from £10 to £110. And I can't see what defines which ones are more. But he's got his original neckerchief and he's in really good condition actually for his age. Nobody's chewed his feet. His thumb goes in his mouth like so. So Steve wanted 10 on him. And then on the rest of my stuff it got to 17 and we settled on 12 so i've, I've paid 12 pound for the monchichi monkey two claire oil conditioners a calf kidston mug an m s mouse comforter i've sold this one before i know i have and then these two bits of brownie uniform and this so 12 pound for all of that is an absolute barg some more brownie uniform to add to that little bundle i will sell that all together if it's the same size i need to check that before listing obviously this is a 1980s to 90s cassette holder they always sell okay always do well with those so really pleased with that lot for 12 quid and it's especially pleased about the monchichi monkey because i've never seen as i said a large one like that i had as a child i had a jacko monkey i'll put a picture on the screen um and I remember chewing his toes and they are they are really hard to find now and worth worth a fair amount if you get one never seen one in fact if any of you guys ever sees one I'd be willing to buy him because sheer nostalgia but I've only ever seen one at Cheddar Car Boots and that was very expensive I've never seen one in, uh, myself in the wild but like I said I didn't know this guy came in large where are you gonna sit 
This is another one that's for us. It's a strange phenomenon, 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 da 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 dum dum da 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 dum da da dum. It's a strange phenomenon that if there's something you want, the universe will provide it at the boot sale if you are patient. I was looking, I've been considering getting a car boot organiser for a while because I'm sick of the shopping bowling itself around in the boot when I'm coming home from mum's whatever. And I was looking at, I think, this exact one on Amazon yesterday and it was about 15, 16 quid and I was like, oh, no, no, no. You know and behold, at the car boot sale this morning, there it is for £2. It just expands out. It's a bit mucky, it needs a wipe out, but I'm only going to keep stuff in it that's in its packets anyway, you know? I think, for two quid, that'll do me. That will do me. Last but by no means least, this. It is a picnic hamper. It has me a little bit puzzled because it has absolutely no branding on it that I can see, which says to me it's not Kath Kidston. However, the fabric lining inside almost definitely is Kath Kidston. If you know different, please let me know. I can see absolutely no branding. I will not be able to sell it as Kath Kidston because I can see no Kath branding on it whatsoever. It has four are these plastic no, four china plates salt and pepper and a bottle opener and three plastic wine glasses so there's one one plastic wine glass missing all of the cutlery is missing so i think this would have been nice forks and spoons all of that's missing but um it's a nice and the hamper itself is in beautiful condition i paid five the hamper is in beautiful condition, but the Kath Kidston ones that I've seen on eBay have Kath Kidston branding on them. So I can only assume that it isn't. But that fabric liner definitely is. So that's an odd one. That's all of my car boot haul today. Um, as we go into the winter, the hauls are definitely going to get smaller. I've said this before. The car boot itself gets smaller and the pickings get, get thinner on the ground. But I'm pleased with the things I got today. I know I say that every time, but then I always am pleased with things I got. As you can see, I didn't do fill a bag. I did a, a bundle deal with Steve for the monkey and the stuff like that for £12, but I didn't do fill a bag. I had a look at the fill a bag and it just didn't look very inspiring. And Josh had a rummage through and he said there wasn't much in there that got him excited. But also, I don't need to be bringing home hordes and hordes of stuff now. I need to be working through that death pile, which is getting scarily large and making its way out of the cupboard now. So pleased with what I've got and... I feel like I've got quality pickups. I haven't spent a great deal. Hang on while I do some maths. Tick, 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 tick. About 30 quid, I think. 30-ish pounds. If you added stuff up as I went along, feel free to argue with me, but 30-ish pounds would be a safe estimate, I think, and I'm really pleased with what I picked up for that. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you, as always, for watching, and I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye for now.